on this episode of Glam Fairy. I found this great stylist named Glamo. I know him. He's not a stylist. He's like a diva. You can't take me. I could take you and run 20 circles around you. Hey, knock it off! We have an off-site consultation. It's a big group of mommies. It would be amazing if we can all get dressed up for the night and really feel good about ourselves. <gasps> I don't recognize myself. You're going to make me cry. And what have real. you done that you was so anything. special? Tell me, Google please. me, bitch. Now, you know what? I did Google you. You know what Google said? Who the f*** is Glamo? Nothing but cereal for a whole month. Yeah. And you think that's healthy? I mean, <laughs> you look great. I honestly don't think it has anything to do with cereal. I think it has to do with your high metabolism. I think it explains a lot, though, about, like... Guys, let's have a meeting. A2, bring over the board. My name's Alexa Presto, and I am the Glam Fairy. I'm one of the best makeup artists in New Jersey, and I'm also the owner of the Glam Factory. We have a lot of stuff going on this week. We have three weddings. We have four trials, we have a music video that we're gonna be styling, and we have some events that we're gonna be styling. At the Glam Factory, we are in the beauty business. We use makeup, hairstyling, and fashion to change people's lives. And it all happens thanks to my talented staff of Glam Fairies. Does anyone have any new business? Actually, look, clipping bangs. They oh. finally came in. Let me show you, I'll demonstrate. What do you think? No. Brielle is my hair fairy. She's brilliant with hairstyling. Sexual? You look like Walter Cronkite on a bad news day. I feel like that's bad. All right, whatever. Yeah. You guys are just jealous anyway. Yeah. Not necessarily a member of Mensa, but like I said, a brilliant hairstylist. You can just snap them in and you get a totally different look and you don't have to commit to cutting the front. Shari is my cut and color expert. And bringing her New York flair to Hoboken is great for the glam factory. Jessica, did you order all the primers and everything? I did everything you wanted, and guess what? I got a really new pretty lip gloss, and I want to show you after the meeting. Jessica is one of my best makeup artists. I may question her sanity from time to time, but she does a great smoky eye. Does anyone else have new business? Well, I have some news. There's actually a new law that just passed in New Jersey. If you're under the age of 18, you are not allowed to use a tanning bed. Or really? Or tanning. Yeah. Well, people in high school, like, how are they going to go through high school and not be tan? Then there's my new assistant, Alexa. But there's only room for one Alexa at the Glam Factory, so I call her A2. Well, thank God I turned 18. She's still in high school, and I'm not so sure she's going to make it to graduation. In any event... I have an event, too, this week. And then there's John. He's my best friend, and he's my client liaison. We've known each other forever. I'm having my goal. It's gonna be so fun. And that's good, because you can really get a couple extra hours from somebody when you know all their dirty little secrets. Everybody knows your weddings, you know everything. I have some new piece of news. We've been getting a lot of requests for wardrobe styling. We do makeup, we do hair, but we don't really do clothing. So I found this great stylist in New York for the business. His name is Glamo. Wait, hold on, I know him. How well do you know him? Like, I know him from like going out and stuff like that and through friends, but like he's always been very mean to me like when we were out. Like, he's not a stylist, he's like a diva. Okay, like, ooh. He's above and beyond, and I really think that for the photo shoots, for all these new wardrobe styling things that we're gonna need him for, he's the perfect fit. Is that his first or last name? Who named him Flavor Flav? Like, what is that? He thinks he's Madonna, he can just have one name. He, he just, like, tries Wait, to be is like his that. name Glambo or Glam-O? How bad do you think his name had to have been for him to actually legally change yeah. it? In any event, Glamo is going to be coming on to our team. He's going to be coming on as an independent contractor working with us. He is not fairy. He doesn't have wings. Yeah, but big muscles. I think that we could no. What's I wrong think with that this he guy, can, John? He, excuse me. He's disgusting. He has like an ego bigger than this factory, and I see him How out about his all the time. Excuse me. Wait, I don't know what his name is. Like his Glamo. Name? It's Glamo. 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 It's Glamo. His name is Glamo. Thank you. This has been a wonderful meeting. I will be at my desk. If you have any questions, you could forward them to John. So what's on the schedule for today? Well, we actually have an off-site consultation. 
What? Wait, wait hold on, hold on. It's a big group of mommies, and they have a lot of kids. And instead of having them all come up here with like all their kids running around, I figured you can go to them, you know? Where are we going to? It's a park, and it'll be cool. It's really nice out. Oh, we'll get some sun. Maybe we can play with the kids a little bit. The second I hear a screaming child, I immediately want to take a weed whacker to my fallopian tubes. You know what? I guess it is time I start acknowledging my maternal instinct. I am almost 30. I don't like the idea like that one of them can grow in my stomach. That's weird. You don't have to. You can, like, have someone else grow it. Okay, you. you know what? We're going... A park is enough. I'm not gonna buy one anytime soon. Okay, if you need help, let me know. <laughs> usually one for on-location consultations, but it sounds like these moms really need my help. Oh my God. So I'm roughing it in my red bags through grass and sand to hang out in a playground. I really go above and beyond for my clients. Hi, how are you? So, so nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Deborah. Nice to Deborah. Meet you. Hi, Amy. Amy. Hi, Allison. Allison. Nice to meet you. I'm Alexa. So nice to meet you. Hey. Wow, you guys come with your lawn chairs to the park? <laughs> <laughs> we come with our whole house to the park. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you want to give a hug? Thank you. Oh my God, give, Thank give you. a hug. If I could just coat myself in kid repellent, I would. Like this, dry, and then a second coat. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Oh, okay. So I really just don't understand this whole lifestyle. So what? Share, share. So you this this right here just allows you to have no time for yourself, right? No, not at all, because you're constantly no, juggling the no, kids, whether it's breaking so up what, a little fight. I mean, but like for example, what is upsetting her? What's up? But what is it? A meltdown. That's Give called a meltdown. Give her a hug. She's gonna have a complete temper tantrum. I really She's haven't go felt the maternal <laughs> instinct. <laughs> this is a typical day in the life of a mom. And it would be amazing, I think, if we can all get together and have some kind of like girls' night out where we can like actually get dressed up for the night and really feel good about ourselves. That would be nice. We call the Glam Fairy because we want to have a big party where we want to be all glammed up, look beautiful, have our makeup done, have our hair done, look stylish, and just feel so good about ourselves. Hi, I'm Deborah. I was one of those girls in high school that all the boys wanted to go out with. I, you know, wore the makeup, I had the hair. I was cute, I was pretty, I was skinny, and I have literally given all that up for my kids. I want to get up in the morning and look the way I used to. I want to look beautiful and feel beautiful and have all that back. My name is Heather, and I am a mom of two boys, and it actually leaves me absolutely no time for me. Okay, let's move on to you. Well, my name is Allison. My son is three years old. He just turned three, and I feel like I just need like a little help with like, oomphing my lock. Okay, cool. Well, let's talk about you. Okay, well, uh, my name is Amy. I have a seven-week-old baby at oh home. My gosh. Right now, my stomach is still, you know, a very sore point for me. I just want to feel great again going back to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my office. I'm going to brainstorm. Oh, she's rearranging furniture. Um, I'm going to brainstorm some ideas that I think would be really good for you guys. And then we're just going to regroup, and we'll set up another meeting. Now I can't wait to get started. I want to help these moms look amazing for their party. It's owning your look and living up to it and feeling fabulous, not giving up. Thank you okay, so great. much. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, hello. God. You're like a chameleon just blending because you're so fabulous. Oh my gosh. How are you? Cool. you? I'm well. My name is Glamo. G-L-A-M-O. Glamo. You look so hydrated. Oh, thank you. I am a good moisturizer. I am a fashion image consultant. Really? Hi. So, what's going on, Monsieur? It was only a matter of time before Glamo and the Glam Fairy got together to make some magic. Alexa and I have come across each other in the industry that we worked in, and we discussed collaborating. So when she asked me to lend my styling services to the Glam Factory, I told her to sign me up. Alexa's one of the few individuals that can get me to leave Manhattan and come to New Jersey, which in my opinion, 
It really isn't a fashion stay. It's like two superheroes joining forces. Seeing Alexa with Glammo is making me feel like my position here at the Glam Factory was written in pencil and is now gradually being erased. If Glammo thinks that he's gonna come in here and try to take away Alexa from me, he has another thing coming. I mean, it didn't work well when Kim Kardashian tried to steal Nicole Richie from Paris Hilton and it's not gonna work here. I have an amazing story that I want you to start immediately on. Glamo and I are having this awesome conversation, and John is in the background shredding paper like a lunatic. I mean, get a hold of yourself. It's these mommies. At the end of the day, I will make more money from hiring Glamo. John's feelings, it's kind of like this. Glamo, John's feelings. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna about yourself you. check. You're a tired ass queen. How many inches are we talking about? Four inches. No. You're not keeping it. Oh, no! Ray, I'm so sorry about my cats the other night. I didn't know my cats were gonna attack you. They're like hyenas. I thought that you'd bond with them. Yeah. I'm not really a cat person. Hi. Was there hair on that blanket? Because honestly, I was a little it catchy. It shed a lot. So it's it not shed? tonight. Yeah, and I washed that blanket, but. Let me make some phone calls and I'll try. All right, I love you, bye. Ooh, what? what's going on, Sorry. Yeah, what's going on? My husband and his work, it's like this dinner at like the James Beard house and it's just like a big deal. I got a sitter for tonight? Yeah. No, it's tomorrow night. Ooh, Ooh yeah. you stop. You fudged up. My husband, Colin, is an amazing chef and he's been invited to the James Beard house. I don't have a regular nanny anymore because I had to let her go and I'm like stuck. This is huge for him and if I don't figure out the babysitting situation, I'm in big trouble. Why don't you let me umbrella? What to get? Yeah, why can't me and Jessica watch it? Yeah, girls. I mean, Brilla, we could do it. Oh my God, babysitting is so much fun. And if this works out, maybe me and Briella could get like a side thing where we do makeup and hair and babysit little kids. And we could just make the kids be our like assistants and clean brushes and it's like a win-win. Honestly, thank you so much. I'm just, I'm gonna like get on the phone, like go online and like yeah, go but to sorry, an agency. But, that, but whoever or... you get, you're not gonna know who they are. You're more comfortable with a stranger than two strange people? I always wanted to be a babysitter. I mean, what could be better than doing all of my favorite things? Like playing pretend, getting dressed up, playing hide and seek. I usually play all of that with my friends, but I'm sure kids would like that too. All I right. want to help you. Honestly, it's so silly of you to look for random people to watch your children. This is the yeah. big thing. What's it called? The big, must the big bang. The big, no, then tomorrow night, what is it? Well, the no, it's beard. just the, the, the James beard. Beard house. big beard, Shari. This is really important to your husband. I may regret this, but... So we can watch them? We can watch them? We can watch the little girls? Both of them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Thank Hiring you, Briella and Jessica to watch my kids definitely goes against my better judgment. But you know what? This is a really important event, and I need to be there. Mm -hmm. We know the rules. We get it. Yeah. Don't let them run with scissors. They can't cook by themselves. Yes, if they're gonna cook, you know, they have to have like a chaperone. Like right. I have to be or an like, apron. If not they a wanna deal. take a bath, they can, but we put the bubbles in because exactly. it can overflow. the bubbles could overflow if they put too much soap in the bath. Right. We could do it, Shari. We're practically kids ourselves. Thanks. Okay, I gotta I gotta go talk to him. I gotta like ease him into it. Okay. okay. Ease All him right. in. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell him Jess and Breezy, we got this. What is a big beard? I don't know. And what does that have to do with food? What could that be? Do you get uh, it? Do you know what that is? I have no idea. No? Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you? OK, how are you? Yeah, we're good. Today, I'm meeting with my clients, a group of moms who feel that they've let their looks go, and they're looking to get glammed up for a party. Now, I want to talk over your individual looks for the party. Deb, I was actually thinking about your hair. And, you know, I like the cut, but I just feel like over here, there is a lot of breakage. There's a lot of breakage in here. What are you suggesting? Lift up the back, 
a little bit. Lift up and have what? a like long inversion. Yet? Lift up? What do you mean? Have it a little bit shorter in the back. I have it shorter in the back. I'm, I'm a little confused. I don't know, about seven inches? No, in no, the no, back? no, 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 no. Absolutely no. No? no. no, 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 no. I am terrified about cutting my hair. Seven inches is something that I've never done since I was a little girl. No, I can't do it. My I, husband will leave. I, I can't. My husband will walk out the door. I, your husband will leave you if he will leave me. I will not cut my hair short. For your husband to say that he would leave you if you cut your hair, I think that's a horrible thing to say to a person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I get you. I, this is definitely what I needed. I'm very, very, very hesitant to do it. I just, I'm, I'm so scared. Listen. I'll be honest. Shari, do you want to come by? Hi, guys. Hi. She is my colorist, but she's more of like a master colorist here. Shari, what do you think? I think that this room is going to be so much fun. The changes that we're going to make. The reason I'm so excited, you guys, is I'm going to change your hair color, which is going to make you feel so great. I love the blonde. I love the idea. It just needs to be redone. I love the dark. I love it. Yeah, I think it's great. I think yeah. that you need extension to thicken yes. it up. Okay. I think it'll be great. I love her eyes. A little bit more red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. And I actually think that some of the end color that you have I think if we made you more of a little bit of that auburn and then hand painted so you don't see where your highlights start and stop, I think be very subtle and a lot more sophisticated. We will figure this out. These are general ideas. We're not sitting here with blow darts of hairstyles that are just getting splattered in your head right now. So that's it. That's your meeting. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh this isn't just about a party. If I want to really help these women, I have to teach them about taking the time to help themselves. And I can already tell it's going to be a challenge. Hey. Good enough. <laughs> it's bad enough that Glamo and Alexa have been hanging out without me, but now they're just rolling into the glam factory, giggling and laughing. Like, what's going on? Hi. You're back. Now all of a sudden, Glamo's here, and she's not really paying attention to me. It's almost like a new baby was born, and it just came home. But it's not like a normal baby. It's like a scary baby. And everyone's like, what the hell is that kind of baby? I you should have told me five minutes before. I would have rolled out the red carpet for you guys. Excuse me? I know, like, his name is Glamo, but honestly, like, none of your clients are going to take that seriously. Hi, my name is Glamo. Should I go up to people and say, hi, my name is Glam Fairy. I'm 26 years old, and I wear red pants that are too short on me with wicker shoes. Turns out, I can hear everything that you're saying about me. That's really convenient, because now I don't have to repeat it again, do I? What you fail to realize is that you and I, we don't do the same thing. I just didn't understand why, and I all of a sudden. I don't give a crap what you understand and what you So then why understand. are you over here talking to me about because it? Because it's no, obvious no. that you can't take me. You're not. I could take you you're around not. 20 circles around Knock you. Knock it off! I'm not gonna hear that. You guys need to stop. I don't want any drama here at the Glam Factory. Well, you brought it with this one. And enough with the comebacks. I just came to show you the looks that I have for the mommies. You know, but your fire breathing dragon yeah. over here, the help. It's Excuse giving me too much. the help? So can we go somewhere wait, wait, where we I'm can, sorry, can no, we go somewhere where we let's can Let's just go get a drink and we'll do some work. Loves it. Alexa says, oh, come on, Glamour, let's go get drinks. That is like not just a bitch slap across my face, but that is a slap, a punch, a kick. I'm on the floor and you pick up a two by four and just whack me in the head with it. The color is right. Option B. With your hair, I think red. 100% no. It's making me feel really uncomfortable. You look like you're wearing a giant tampon with a wicker belt. The mommies are coming in today for their fittings with Glamo. I am here to make sure that everything goes smoothly and that these mommies are comfortable and that Glamo doesn't step out of line because Glamo is just going to be too much for them. He's too much for anybody. Um, I just want to let you know, Alexa and the fairies are at a wedding today. So just to avoid like what happened before, we have to keep it really professional. Okay, the clients come first. If they're uncomfortable in a certain way, just let me know and I'll take care of it. Okay, you just worry about their outfits and everything. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you told me what I need to worry about. Yeah. You worry about their outfits. You're the stylist. And if they need I anything need to else... you what to worry about, though, sweetie. Okay, listen. They're going to be here any moment. So if they need anything, Fabulous. just let me know. So I'm going to do what I do, 
and you do what you do. All right, see, this isn't cool. Oh, all the way over there. All right, you know what? Bye-bye now. Hi. Hi. Hey, lady. Hi. How are you? These women all feel like crap about themselves. So today, I'm going to have them try on a bunch of dresses so I can figure out the perfect look for this weekend. And ladies, don't be afraid to be 150% honest. Color is right. Option B. Thanks, lover. If you want to throw it out afterward, just let me know. That's what I'm here for. You're not happy. Tell Glamo it's not healthy to keep your frustrations inside. So Glamo, I don't like it. Let's go. No love loss. Again, like the color. Don't love the dress. With your hair, I think red. I'm don't not say. feeling it at all. If you really don't want to, you don't have to try on the red one. Because I could see it. You don't like yeah, it at all. Yeah. I take a giant step in, not because I want to start drama or because I want to argue with Glamo, but because I want to make sure the mommies are happy. She doesn't if want it just it, doesn't even back. feel compelling. I just have to put an end to it. He is forcefully throwing his stuff toward them, and they just don't want it. Humor me. Okay. To do this with John whispering in their ear like a freaking crying infant, it didn't help the situation at all. Well, all right oh, there. That's good. I'm thinking I owe you an apology. Yeah. Apology <laughs> accepted. OK, <laughs> so we're friends again. What do you think about this, John? Oh, what is that? It's 100% now. It's making me feel really uncomfortable. Glamo, like, why would you put her in that? Why would you do that? Are you going to respond or no? Not to you, because you're not my client. By the end of the fitting, these women were a ball of emotions. And of course, John was the one that had them all riled up. I think that fashion is about options. You may have to try on a few dozen dresses until you get to the right one. So I think I may conjure up a few more options for you ladies to try, yes. just so all we right. can find that perfect look. You like that? Yes, yeah, that was good. Yay! <laughs> My husband, Colin. Hi, Colin. Hello. Hi. Nice to Hi. finally meet you. Hi, pleasure's mine. Yeah. Pleasure. Colin, pleasure. I like your hat. Thanks. I like Thanks. your hair. So, are you two ready for the task tonight? What's that? Watching the children. Oh, yeah. So, there's some rules, okay? Rules for us? We have rules? Yeah, you have a lot of rules. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. No, like, adult language, no soda, no candy, no, like, sweet treats. You should just write no fun on this. Um, I have a ton of phone numbers, and my phone is always on. Where do you keep the diapers? Ew, I'm not changing diapers. Oh, yeah, look, they're three and five. They, like, go to the bathroom, they wash their hands. Do they have pull-ups? They're the no. perfect age. They don't have diapers. They have big girl underwear. Oh. Girls, come here, bunnies. Ladybugs, come Hi. here! Hi. Look who's here! Hi. So introduce She's a yourself. Monster. How do you yeah. tell them apart though? Uh, one's got short hair. Yeah. Good, good, good. good so luck. Taylor and, and one's Emmy, got pink shoes. And I don't care what they tell you they can do, they lie. You're <laughs> little liars. You definitely hang with us. Okay, babe, we gotta go. We're okay. gonna do this. Let's go. All right, I'm telling myself that it's gonna be okay because Briella and Jessica, they haven't had any big disasters in their lives. Try to text me, try to call me. And you know what? It's only a couple hours playing with my two little girls. You have the lift. It's gonna be okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Now can we do the tea party? Sure, that's what you guys like to do? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Wait, there's nothing in here. Yummy. What? Is oh. it good? Wow, is this what you do with your mommy? This is not cool. Oh my gosh, I broke something. No, it's okay, she fleggles. She's little? No, she fleggles. She sleggles? <laughs> no, she fleggles. She's she fleggles? She fleggles. I'm sorry. She's just Legos. It's just Legos! <laughs> just Legos. You're amazing. You're like really? so amazing. I like the way you talk.
Tonight, I am going to Club Feathers, and this club is basically where 95% of all gay guys here go, and the other 5% are at home pretending to be straight with their wives. Hi! Okay, what are you guys drinking? The Tokyo. And there's just, you know, this guy who's been working with me. He just started, like, literally, like, maybe a day ago. And he already thinks he's, like, on top of the food chain. At the end of the day, she's the help. She's a knot. She means nothing, and she carries no weight. We're working on a group of mommies, right? They came in to be styled, and, oh, my God. All right, hold on, wait. He's literally right there. Him. They tried to talk to me about professionalism. Uh -huh. Also, his hands. I can't even read his lips or hear his voice because all he does is talk to This thing doesn't even hold a candle to me on her brightest day. I'm a professional, so I would never do it in the workplace. I should go in on her, right? Get her. So we're in a club. We're in a social setting. I don't know where to be social. What do you like to do besides playing tea party? I like shopping for toys. Shopping's fun. We can't take them anywhere, I don't think. We're not allowed to leave with them? No. I have a license. What about skateboarding? I have it's a, a school trike. It's a school a trike. A trike. It's a kind of bike that is little. Oh, I. you mean a tricycle? Oh. Yeah. yeah, a tricycle? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. I like that. She makes up her own words. Yeah, it you're really us. You're just like us. Do you want to have a glam party? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Let's yeah. have a party. Come here, Mama. You look like such a party girl right now. Wow. 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 High five. How are your lips like this? Mommy doesn't let me wear makeup. Oh. Is Mommy here? No, it's Wait, fine. We're, is mom? No, mommy's not here. Mommy's right not now. here. The cool fairies are the cool here. Cool fairies, we're cool. Mm, they like this. Okay. Say I'm glamming. I'm glamming. You look like mommy. Have some bronzer. Give her some cheekbones. <gasps> Do you feel beautiful? Wow. <laughs> Time for glammy photo shoot. Glamming. Glamming. Oh my god, that picture was amazing. Do you know where we need to go? Where? Where? We need to go clubbing. I like the Mickey Mouse Club. If we have that, I would say book club. The book club? Is that like downtown? It's a Brooklyn thing, I guess. It's a Brooklyn thing? Well, you know what? We're going to make a club right here. I feel like we could do this as a side business, like glam sitting. Glam sitting. <laughs> Hands up. And shimmy down. And shimmy down. Wow. 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 rule this is? This is the rule that everyone's cuter and a little bit of darkness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Taylor, scream, woo! me and Jessica are bringing down the house. And that is what we're great at. We keep on dancing. We keep on dancing. We keep on dancing. I can tell that these girls like to party, but this is definitely the best party they've ever been to. We're dancing. We're dancing. Woo! Woo! Uh, hi. We're home. We had a glam party. They had fun. Yeah, and they had a lot of fun. And they're alive. Yeah. Taylor, do you have makeup on your face? Yeah. Close your eyes, let me see. We just wanted them to look pretty at the club. Yeah, yeah I know that. Hair extensions, Ow. come on. I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. It's just, it's too much. They're too little, and there are rules for a reason. Like, if I don't have rules now, how am I gonna manage them when they're teenagers? I mean, come on. The house is a mess, the kids are in makeup. Sorry, we were just trying to, like, loosen them up a little bit, and they, like, they look kind of tense. Like, I don't know if, like... Stressed. Stressed. I want them to be a new nanny. Can you say bye-bye? I want a hug. I had so much fun yeah. with you. You're and the best glamming. girls to go clubbing with in the whole world. We can be a wing girl. Bye, bye. bye. Wash the makeup bye. off. Thank you for the worm, Emerson. Bye. bye. Thanks for the fun time. Bye, Colin. Good night, girls. Thanks. Those are cool kids. They are some really cool kids. I can't kids. believe they came from Shari. Yeah, how'd that happen? Thankfully, the girls are totally fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. 
and I actually think they had a good time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Shari. And Thanks, Shari. I do not want my babies wearing makeup or pretending to go clubbing, okay? But I did learn a valuable lesson, and that's to keep my personal life private and personal, and to keep the fairies at the factory. Don't worry, we're not gonna charge you. Doesn't cost money to party with us. Amazing. Free charge. You, you guys party for free. You guys really you are amazing. You're two of a kind. Mm -hmm. Okay, good night. Love Thank you. Night. you. Love Bye. you. Kiss. Yes, I'll Bye, see babies. you in the morning. Glitter kisses. I'll tell them good night. Tell them glitter kisses. Yep. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. this kid and me under the same roof at the glam factory. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And I didn't appreciate the way that you're the main one talking about being professional. Uh -huh. But you do some of the most unprofessional things in my life. And really? I understand that you're not fashion. Or you're not, you go with your hands, Yeah, my hands, you get it? No, I don't get it. You're not fashion. You're oh. the help. OK, you know you're what? You're client liaison. You okay. push room, you serve water, and you okay. get drinks for people. The way I understand it is you're supposed to support me. Per I can't ball. support someone wearing something like ball. that, I'm sorry. You're your ball. You're a drama queen. I'm not okay. about that. If I, I was a drama queen, I would smack fire out your ass. No, oh, okay, really? That, I've worked with Alexa for 10 years. I know what she wants. Ooh, what she you worked with Alexa for 10 years, and you're a client liaison? Why, why do you Ooh, not talk? Sounds like you need a job change, honey. You're coming up to me. Did I come up to you? I came up to you. No, because I don't give a about you. No, no, no. I am not checked. You consider yourself unchecked. You are you treated. Let me talk. Five. You're not letting me talk. Or what you have to say doesn't mean anything. You're not relevant. You're not current. You're seed and you're late. Okay. You're a tired ass queen. I am not a so, queen. So, I'm not so, one of those pink sweetheart with white hair. And I look hair. fabulous. You look like you're wearing a giant tampon with a wicker belt, all right? That's not fashionable. So I don't know where you're coming from. What do you from. know about that? If you are preaching well, what do you know about that? Belt, that what have you done that you was so anything. special? Tell me, Google please. Google me, bitch, Tell and me. you'll find out exactly what, what, you know what I've done. I did Google you. You know what Google said? Who the f is Glamo? That's what Google said to me. For the hair, I definitely think like a strawberry blonde. I don't know if I like the sounds of that. This hair is broken and dead. What have you done that was so special? Tell me, Google you, bitch. Tell me. You'll find out exactly what I've done. You know what? I did Google you. You know what Google said? Who the f*** is Glamo? That's what Google said to me. I'm gonna end it here. Yeah, you end it there, because you ended it two days ago, sweetheart. You ended it when that happened. I will come at you sideways, frontways, backways, and around. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna break it down to you like this. Break it down sweetly. There's not gonna be any more exchange of words between you and I. Why not? We work together. There's no. gonna be a lot of you words work between Alexa. us. You work with Alexa. Yes, so I work you. with Alexa. No, you do not work with Alexa. Once again. How about you pretend to be your stylist when, here. when you have free time? No. Style yourself. You should be your own client. <laughs> He's so disgusting. Honestly. That is why I hate every single gay guy in this State because they're all like him. I'm shaking. This is what he does to me every time I see him. And with a name like Glamo, you're at the very bottom of my list. Hepatitis comes before that. Now I'm sweating. I need a friggin' drink. Today is the day of the mom party. I feel like a classy, glamorous party will really give these moms a chance to focus on themselves for once. I am so happy for these women to sort of present themselves and feel the way they used to. Deb, so for your hair, I am really leaning towards, you know, a longer bob. Not a bob, because bob is a scary word, where it's a little bit shorter in the back, a little bit longer in the front, and it's edgy and it's funky and it's wearable. When you said a little bit short in the back, like your hand was up to here. That, that's too short. I get it, change is scary. But Deb does not realize that her split ends are really holding her back. No, it's not gonna you're, be up to there. It's not gonna that. be in the nape of your neck. Once these split ends are off of her head, she is gonna look and feel so much better. Let me tell you something, walking around a park with split ends that are all frizzy, that'll get in your head. I'm trying to weed that thing out. Like up 
and down. You know what I mean? I think out of all these moms, she needs the most help. It's wearable and it'll be great, you know? I don't like the way I look with short hair. My husband does not like the way I look with short hair. He's seen pictures. He loves long hair. He thinks that a female is attractive, mostly because of her hair. So Heather, for the hair, I definitely think like a strawberry blonde. Uh, I don't know if I like the sounds of that. I don't want to look like a strawberry. I mean, you won't. I think it'll be great. And I think that we should do a smoky eye and a cheek highlight and a light lip and really emphasize your skin and just have a very chic look. To be honest with you, it really scares the crap out of me. It's one thing, you know, changing into an outfit that I didn't expect to wear, but in this strawberry blonde idea, but that's really way over the top. Let's talk about color. Yes, because okay. my hair has never looked so bad. <laughs> OK, hopefully, once I'm in the dress that I really want to be in and I'm looking great, that I'll take a look at myself and I'll just reminisce about all the good times and back to my wedding day, my prom, and how I felt on those days, that I'll say, all right, I'm not that frumpy mom anymore. Are you ready for color? When you say red, I don't know like You're not, what shade of red. We're not you're gonna about. see a stop sign. My palette, my canvas is the hair. Trust me, please. Whether Heather likes it or not, she's a natural redhead. And she has the perfect eye color and skin tone to be a strawberry blonde. Commit to me. I'll I'm gonna commit. Yes. And I'm going to stay really enthusiastic. Think happy, strawberry, blonde, yummy thoughts. Open. Looking good. Rub it in a little. <gasps> you look amazing. Yeah, but I love it. Like, I don't even. You look hot. Am I going to ruin it? I'm sorry. No. Am I going to really ruin it? <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. You just put chills in my arms. No one's ever had that reaction. Sorry, I just, I don't recognize myself. Deb starts crying and the whole room gets misty eyed. It's amazing what a little smoky eye can do. You look amazing. I told you I was gonna cry. Deb loves her makeup. Now, we all agree, those split ends have got to go. This hair is completely dead down here. It's it's thin it's and it's breaking. It. Okay, how many inches are we talking about? Four inches. No. Four inches? If I do four, maybe three and a half, can we? Four. The last four inches of Deb's hair are completely dead, and she's clinging on to them like some sort of frizzy life preserver. I'm too scared. No, you're not. You're not scared. You have to let it. I mean, I haven't had short hair since I was a little it's girl. It's not short hair. Sometimes people hold on to things that are safe and that are comfortable, because it's easy and it's convenient and it's a risk to make a change. 3.75 inches. Don't four, get yourself attached four. to numbers. Don't get yourself attached to numbers. Get yourself attached to a new phase of your life where you're gonna wake up and you're gonna take care of yourself and you're gonna take care of the way you look and you're gonna take pride in your appearance and you're not gonna have life and motherhood, something a lot of women go through, be an excuse to not take care of yourself. And this hair is not a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of not taking care of yourself. It's hair that's broken and dead. And part of you may feel that way, and that's why you're holding on to it. I'm so comfortable with being frumpy and tired and lazy that it's the only thing I know. So taking this risk and chance, it's not my comfort level. No, you're not keeping it. Have a glass of champagne. You'll be OK. Say goodbye. Champagne, please. Sit up nice and straight for me. Okay. Put the champagne hold down. Hold oh, OK, can I hold, hold your on. hand? Are you ready? Yeah. OK. When Shari finally cuts Deb's hair, there is a silence that just overempowers the room for like two seconds. And then... Oh, God! It's fine. It's done. It's, fine. it's done. OK, now we're going to color. It's going to look really good. I can't. Don't look at it yet. We're it's done. not done yet. It's not done. Breathe. Oh. Here. Here. More Here. champagne. You look so good. You oh, really do. Ball. I never thought you'd do this. I'm shaking. Are you ready to take a look? 
so ready. Wow. Allison! Yes, Yay. I think we found it. Once I tried on the dress, I knew that the look was complete. The color is absolutely beautiful. I really feel as though I look different, and I'm just so excited about it. What do you think? I'm glad we picked this red. I like the lines. I like the shoes. I think it's amazing, and I even like the makeup with it. Today was such a roller coaster ride. I didn't know how I'd feel about the red, but now that I did it, I'm so glad I was brave enough to go red because I love it. Oh, oh my, my God. God! I see myself and I just can't believe how I look with the makeup on and my hair done. And definitely different than the frumpy mom. Amy, you look like a million bucks beyond. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we like, we like. Oh, oh my, my God. God. This dress and this hair and this makeup remind me of my old self. And from day one, I was trying to get back there. I know I'm not 20 anymore, but I feel like I look 10 years younger and I feel 10 years younger. This is amazing. Isn't it? Listen, this this has been such an amazing experience. You guys look so incredible. And the main thing that's completely different from when I first met you is your smile. You're radiating and you're glowing. Thank you. You guys just look incredible. process has been such an incredible journey. I really feel I now have a more glamorous look, and this is going to make me feel sexy, and I'm just so excited about it. Oh. Little gift. Wow. Thank you. When I first saw my husband and he first saw me, it brought back my memories of my wedding day, and he saw me all dressed up. Definitely holding my head up a lot higher now with the hair and the makeup and the dress. My husband can definitely tell how happy I am. It feels so great to know that everywhere I go now, whether it's the playground or the supermarket or my kid's school, I can actually feel good about the impression that I'm going to make. I really never thought I could feel and look like this. I cut it. I did. It. Wow, Deborah. <laughs> When I first saw my wife tonight, I thought she looked absolutely beautiful. More importantly, I saw that she thought she was beautiful, which was nice to see after all these years. Do you like it? Yeah. Because I really like it. I like the hair. Yeah, right? I was so nervous that my husband was going to like my hair. And as I was approaching him, I couldn't read his expression. I haven't seen him look like that in a while, and then I remembered what it was. He was attracted to me. This has been a dream come true for me in every sense of the word. Find out more about the Glam Fairy, go to mystyle.com.